got more to represent than me So I represent with every breath I breathe With every word I speak Listen, feel the heat And when I finally die, you'll say do was deep Now with my name ever fades from memory I'll leave you this right here to remember me I've got more life to live, more time to grow Give me one more rhyme, give me one more show This is bigger than my body, bigger than my soul I was born to do this and I ain't ready to go I've got more life to Hello, live, more YouTube than you and I accomplish Stan coming to you from the home office here in Metro Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada Now today I want to talk to you about stupid RV questions now these are not questions that are coming from you RVers or from YouTube because you guys are pretty smart and you know how things are, you know, like living in your RV full time. You guys got it figured out and you're wise, astute, and reasonable. But the people that I run into in my day-to-day -day private life who have crazy, crazy questions, well, I think some of these questions deserve stupid answers. So in that vein, that's what I'm going to do. Question number one. Where do you shower? Well, I've decided that um, in spite of the fact I have a fully functioning hot shower in my RV, I prefer to shower at the YMCA because I like to kind of um, pick up fungal infections from the floor and shower with other strange men. Not. Question number two. Where do you get your mail? Well, I actually um, am tired of mailboxes, yeah. I use a homing pigeon now, and I got a couple of them that are trained. They work really good at spotting me wherever I'm at the road. They kind of, instead of dropping their turds, they just doop, drop my mail out of their talons. Question number three, do you cook crystal meth in your RV? Of course I cook crystal meth. How do I pay for this? Since I'm a West Coaster and we're all very health conscious, uh, my crystal meth recipe is low sodium and certified organic. And for my Hebrew friends, I bring a rabbi through my kitchen every once in a while so that I can sell you guys some certified kosher crystal meth. Shalom. Now, another question I get is, uh, I guess I don't get laid anymore. Very correct and astute observation. I am completely celibate and have given my life over to constant and persistent celibacy, just like all you other RVers out there do. And if you believe that, Happily Houseless has got some oceanfront property in southern Arizona, just uh, on the north side of Tucson, available for you right now. $1.3 million. 15% commission for me. And finally, people ask me, where do I dump my sewerage? Now, I actually counter with a question of, well, actually, well, uh, where'd you say you live? That's where I'm dumping next week, man. Oh, yeah. So, folks, that's the kind of week it's been. I'm actually just getting over a, a cold I had. I was kind of bedridden for several days. It wasn't quite fun, but I'm kind of over it now. Um, in about a week's time, I want to see you with me in Seattle on Holland America's MS Staten Dam, and I will be bringing you some um, ship tours and whatnot from there. So in the meantime, take your seasickness pills and stay safe. Keep your wheels on the ground, and I will see you in a week. Bye-bye. See you when I get there, homie. See you when I get there.